Oh, All right, my last guest of the evening is a hip hop artist out of Lexington, Kentucky. He's got so much music on the way. I'm happy to have him on. He goes by the name of River Green. He's with me right now. What's going on, man? What's going on, brother? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, my apologies. I just finished my pre uh, my uh, previous interview, so that's why it was the you had a delay. I saw good, man. So. Uh, thank you so much for being on the show this evening, man. And I've been a fan of yours for quite some time. Now I have I don't know if I seen you perform in person before. Maybe it was at the foundation, maybe it was at some other show, I'm not sure. But I've heard of you for quite some time. And you did a song with uh Devin Roberts called I think All About the Money, something like that. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's how I, I first heard of you as recent music that you put out and uh, you definitely got a good thing going you're definitely on your grind you definitely repping local hip-hop to the fullest and uh and I'm definitely looking forward to hearing more new music from you man I appreciate that man so f for you what made you decide to you know get started in becoming a hip-hop artist for me I've been into the music my whole life but I started taking it seriously when I was 12, and people, like, when I started writing my own music and started rapping it for people, people started feeling a certain type of way about it and liked it, and that sort of, like, fueled me to keep going with it, and I haven't really stopped since then. Plus, it's just like a like a journal for me. Like, it's how I get my, my thoughts out and my stress and all that. So it's pretty much a stress reliever for me. So... I need some clarification. I noticed on, I think it's your Twitter handle you have what it's called, uh, K O A T. Um, coach. So coach, is that like a, a indie label? Yes, I'm signed to an independent label. Coach. It means it's an acronym. It means King of All Things, but it's coach for short. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. So, you know, what's it like being an indie artist? being able to, you know, do music the way that you want to do compared to being signed to, like, a major label or something like that? Well, I just, I just love being able to, you know what I'm saying, make, have, like, music the way I feel and people liking pretty much every, like, everything that I'm making. And, like, it just makes me feel like I'm doing something right. And so I just keep telling my stories on these songs and people can relate to them. So it's just a dope feeling. Like, I... I, I don't know how to how it is as a signed like, like artist because I'm not signed to one of those big labels. But as an indie artist, I love it. You know what I'm saying going out grinding, meeting people face to face, all that. So you mentioned on the exchange of treats that you and I had a while back that you got a lot of music on the way. So so let's let's get into it. Um, are, are we talking? A mixtape? Are we talking albums? Like what? What you got in the works musically right now? Uh, well, I think what we're about to do is I'm about to start focusing on some singles, like really pushing these singles that I got. Like I got some dope ass singles on the way, but like I already have a pretty much an album, one album fully ready to go, and I'm working on another one as we speak. So it's like I'm just getting. I'm trying to. I got I got mixtapes already, so I'm really trying to focus on albums like a full project that tells story from the beginning to the end. So, like, that's what I've been working on. I got pretty much two, almost two albums done. And, yeah, just working on these singles, bro. So, I couldn't even tell you how many songs I got that ain't been released. So, I mentioned, I, you sent me a couple of songs. One of them is called Next Round. And uh, I definitely played that record. It's pretty dope. Um, and I want to, I want to ask you this, there's a, there's a lot of artists as far as hip hop on the, on the local scene that's out there doing their thing. Um, now I, I get stories from local artists about how much support that you get from local artists and how much support you don't get at times. Like, do you get that, that impression as it pertains to the support you get from for local artists, like, do you get the support that you No, nah, like, I'm pretty cool with a lot of local artists, actually. Like, I, I try to just stay humble. And I'm, 
I try to show love to every side of the city, to everybody. So, like, I ain't really got problems with nobody, and everybody likes my music. So we all kind of, everybody's kind of quick with me anyway. I haven't really had that problem. But, I mean, I'm sure that I'm sure that does happen. Like, I know that happens. I know there's some artists out there that don't rock with me just because I'm doing what I'm doing. But I can't, I can't pay attention to that. That that's that's very true. Um, you know, in the world that we live in, uh, you can't please everybody. Uh, yeah. So at the end of the day, you you got people that that walks with you, that vibes with you, that listens to your songs, and when they see you perform and they get turned up, they get lit, or whatever kids like to say these days. Uh, but. <laughs> But I, I'm vibing to the music for sure. I'm definitely a fan of yours for sure. Hey, appreciate it. appreciate and, that, man. Um, now, who do you, who do you consider like influences in your in your in your music? Any artists that that inspire you to to be an artist that you are? Like right now or growing up? We can, we, well, we can do growing up, and then we do right now. Uh. Well, growing up, I listened to I listened to Tupac, DMX, and Lil Wayne. That was my top three artists that I listened to all the time. But then I sort of started branching out when I got a little bit older. But those three were my main three that I grew up listening to. Speaking of Mr. Carter, um, he's been on the news recently, and he has some tweets pretty much saying that he's pretty much calling it a career. Now, obviously, uh, for hip hop, a lot of artists have tried this retirement thing, and then they come back all together. But when, Jay Z. Yeah, with Hove, and you know, and the list goes on and on. Now with Wayne, it's a bit different. I think with Wayne right now, it's 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 pretty much the lawsuit and his somewhat complicated well not complicated but his his feelings towards Birdman, his quote unquote father. Um do you think Weezy is done? Do, do, or do you think maybe he's had enough? Like what what's your take on, on his situation? Uh no, I don't think he's done because I seen a little bit later, actually not too long ago I saw a tweet from one of like Mac Main and even his daughter Regine said, one on um, both of them tweeted out saying he isn't going to quit, or he isn't retiring, and he even, even posted a, a tweet later on saying that he was cool. So I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I, he probably is frustrated and just tweeting out or whatever, but I don't think he's done. Like, when you at that level, when you got that much love for the music and fans, I don't see how you can just up and quit. But. That's just like for me personally, I would never. I'm, I don't think I would ever quit music. Like I could never quit music because this is what I love to do, eat like on um, everyday basis. That's very true. Um, I mean, music is not like sports. Like in sports, you keep going until you're physically unable to. Music, yeah. you can rap until you're a hundred, as far as I know. Um, but yeah, you mean, you could be a hundred and make songs. Don't even have to do shows and show up anywhere yeah. and do nothing. You're just making music for you. I right? mean, you know, even if you're not, you know, rapping by the age of a hundred, you can pretty much be behind the scenes and be like a talent scout or whatever. Um, you know, that's other ways to be a part of music, and you're not necessarily an artist per se. Um, I guess as it pertains to Bert, uh, to to Wayne. Is that he's not been able to put out music because Bert, because of Birdman, and until Birdman gives him the green light or whatever, I mean, all we're gonna get is mixtape after mixtape after mixtape. People been waiting on that Carter, people been waiting on that Carter Five for a couple of years, and you know it's not coming out anytime soon, and he still have the lawsuit on on him as well, so. You know, Birdman, I'm on Wayne's side as it pertains to those two. Like, that's your type guy. When all those other artists left, Juvie, BG, Turk, or whatever, Wayne stood by his side through the bad. 
and now you, you're biting the hand that feeds you, and uh, I don't think it's right for, yeah. for for what he's doing. He's and people have been saying that he's not necessarily a good businessman by any means, and he's being more, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, how he can how he handled business per se. Um, but enough about that. Let's get back to you. Uh, <laughs> Uh, now, you got any, like, upcoming performances, appearances that you like to promote, let people know? Yeah, uh, and I had one, I just had one last night, too. Uh, we was down in Paris, Kentucky. A lot of people from the city came down there and turned up for my man's series, Black. They put on a performance. Actually, everybody got turned in there. It was pretty dope. But my next one uh, is on September 10th for the KY Music Fest. I'm doing a... Me and Devin Roberts, we doing our music, uh, our set that we got for our live music, and then uh, that's the closest uh, performance that I got. But then on October fifth, we're going to Japan, shooting some uh, movies out. I mean, not some movies, shooting some music videos out there, and just doing a lot of networking out there, man. Once we get back, I got a, a performance in Tennessee on, on the twenty eighth. And at Merle, Murfreesboro, I don't even know how to say it, but Mur, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, yeah, that's where we're going to be at. So uh, It's going to be fun, man. we got a couple moves next uh, to make. We're going to be going to Miami, too, so we got a lot of moves coming up. So you you, you, you actually going to be at the, the, it's the Kentucky Music Showcase. That's September the 10th. Uh, yeah, you, September 10th. Oh, okay, well. Well, what do you know? I'm going to be there, too. Uh, so I'm actually going to get a chance to meet you for the first time. Um, Hell yeah, man. So that, that will be dope. And did I just hear you say you, Kentucky hip-hop artist, going to be at Japan, Land of the White yeah, Sun? Yeah, I'm, I'm an international nigga, you know. <laughs> Got to go over there and show some love to my fans over there. <laughs> wow, that's... That's making big moves right there. So I, I give, hey, you keep doing your thing, man, because what you, I mean, wow, that's dope. So I'm just blown away from what, what you just said. So um, now. Yeah, man, I'm just trying to work and put on for my city, man, and help people that, you know what I'm saying, help me come up. So That's very that's true. Dope. That's very true. And um, before I let you go, why don't you go ahead, promote your social media links, and where can people go hear your music? Yeah, uh, well, see, you can check me out on Instagram. It's River underscore Green. And then on Twitter, it's the same thing, River underscore Green. And on Facebook, it's just River Green. But I'm on YouTube. I'm on, if you just type in River Green on any of these sites, on YouTube, Spinrilla, I got my tapes. Uh, on iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, and then my website, which is uh, www.itsrivergreen, green with an E at the end, dot com. So I'm on I'm pretty much everywhere, man. Live mixtapes. Very cool, Down, man. <laughs> it was great chatting with you, and uh, thank you so much for being on the show this evening. Continue, I appreciate you having me, man. And, um, continue success. And I guess I'll see you one week from tonight. I'll see you at the showcase. All right, man. I'll see you then, man. All right, bye-bye. All right, man.